I've always been interested in science and the ability to combine different disciplines, economics and microbiology, business and, uh, and, and science, biotechnology and engineering. And I think maybe it's that interest in multiple disciplines that, that's helped me in my uh, job here at Poet. My role is uh, Vice President of Innovation. I'm trying to bring in that next disruptive technology, that next incremental dislocating technology that differentiates Poet from the rest of the market. There are many scientists that want to follow all the standard procedures in science. And I think creativity brings out an artistic approach to science. It's a way of doing science that maybe is not taught in schools now. I think there's a link between creativity, art, and science. And maybe that link is in science, the ability to see data in a different way. The ability to turn data to information to knowledge. And if you just have data and information, you can't necessarily create value from it. So you have to go along that continuum of data and information to knowledge. Only from knowledge can you create value. And I think that's the secret of the POET facilities. The POET approach with all of our plants, we're constantly trying to create knowledge that allows us to differentiate our processes further from the competition. It takes a little bit of an original mind to be able to think those thoughts that haven't been thought before. There were times, even though I was working on some of these processes, you wonder if it's ever really gonna work out. That's where the faith part comes in the equation. Most things fail in science, and it's being able to pursue science without getting discouraged. It's being able to pursue a project even though it doesn't look like it's going to work. You, you have to be able to see what others don't. When you initially make the connection, no one sees it coming, but when you look back on it in hindsight, it makes perfect sense. You think, why didn't I think of that earlier? <laughs>